Hey guys, so today we are reviewing the Frosty the Snowman Jack Frost figure. He comes with the Ron hat and an inanimate Frosty, and his hat is removable. Let me show you. I'll show you guys in a second. His hat is removable. Got his hair underneath there. And to put his hat back on, you just line the grooves up, and you got a hat that's not going to go anywhere. What I like about it is that the hair doesn't look like it's been squished or sculpted uh, Ron just so it could hold the hat. So good job there. And Jack Frost also comes with the Ron hat, which either you can have him hold Like that, you can have them holding it. Or, he's got the exact same grooves. This one's a little hot, harder to line up because you kind of can match up the pom pom. Uh. There we go. Doesn't look as good on Jack Frost. Some uh, 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 the other hat is a little nice. So after all that, anyways, let's just put back on his regular hat. Hold on, guys. Like that. So there's Jack Frost. Let's have a look at the inanimate Frosty. So there, uh, guys, this Frosty, just a single piece of plastic sculpted in with the uh, snowman eyes and the nose. Certainly no life in him. But, he is a hollow piece. And there's really nowhere to put the hat. You can, I guess you could have it kind of laying on him. But it doesn't sit. But, if you do have Jack Frost and the inanimate Frosty. And, bring in the previously reviewed... Living Frosty, you got yourself a cool little setup. There you go, guys. That was me reviewing the Jack Frost figure and the inanimate Frosty. Hope you liked it, and if you did, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.